What's up guys, it's OK here, we're at the Sanctuary which is looking pretty amazing with the Spring Leaves mod. Uh, in today's video we're going to have a look at my newest build which was potentially probably one of my most ambitious builds in Fallout, the Modern House. This is rebuilt with mods and it kind of has a bit of an institute theme or influence to it because let's face it, if you're going to rebuild the Sanctuary with big nice houses and stuff like that it's, it's going to be the institute right and you know this worked well for me because the institute were originally my chosen faction okay so now just be mindful if you've never used mods before or you think about using mods um you know it, it is it is quite a lengthy process okay it's very tedious um i use the pa tool and i use it a lot which is the place anywhere tool um, which is much like the rug glitch, but just more better, I guess. Um, you know, it, it is very tedious, okay? It can take you a really long time. Um, I've spent probably a week on this house and, you know, that's one house. It doesn't normally take me that long. So, just keep that in mind and I'll explain why. Like, as you can see up here, um, where I've created my own sort of pillars and stuff like that. Um, you know, th this is a, a case of using the PA tool to place walls in next to walls and stuff like that to, to achieve that kind of um, that thing. And you know, the same thing here with the, you know, the custom garden beds. Um, you know, this is using the place anywhere tool which can take a very long time. So you can see there's another one here. I've got a much larger feature wall just out the front here and go through the gate here. Um, you can see I've placed, you know, pot plants in the ground to give it that effect that, you know, they're, they're actually plants rather than pot plants. So, we'll take a little walk through the house. We'll have a look around. We'll talk about it and go through some, uh, some, some mods that I've used. Um, yeah, we have the living room in here, which comes up quite nice, you know. We use the modern paintings and stuff like that to give the downstairs more of a just a modern house kind of look and then like an institute kind of look upstairs okay so um, kitchen the facilities and then we just have like a bar outside here um, there's still a lot of junk decorating that needs to be done throughout the entire house um, maybe even decorating just in general so we've got dog meat's yard outside here. Okay. It's a nice little place for him to walk around. And you know what? The, the bar came up quite nice. Looks really good at night time as well. Just the right amount of lighting. 
um, just like I said needs a, a little bit more junk decorating and stuff like that um, now I have my upstairs here beyond the hidden bookcase um, built a narrower kind of stairs on like stairway and then we have the this is like a trophy room okay this is where I keep all the you know the rare items and stuff like that I haven't got around to placing them in yet um, but I will get around to that shortly um, and it, this is a combined kind of clinic and armory okay so it's not a clinic as such but it's a you know like an area where I can keep all the bed supplies and stuff like that um, and the armory as well so there's plenty of space for storage in here and just your usual collectibles and stuff like that and I may repost when I when I get this finished entirely um, for anyone who's interested um, and then like I said the Institute theme upstairs okay so um, as you can see I've got a <laughs> even got this little crow down here right I don't know how but I managed to trap this crow in there without it flying away um, usually when you leave the area they tend to fly away um, so a little bit of an ensuite bathroom up here nothing fancy and then just your main sort of sleeping area stuff like that I've got a little office section as well just trying to keep that institute theme used kind of threw in a few uh vault items as well because there's some similarities in the uh in the furniture so yeah nice little view probably get around to refurbishing some of these houses eventually as well uh, i might do a video on that these uh yeah these builds take a really long time um which is why I haven't done a uh, build tutorial on this one. Um, if it builds enough popularity or something like that, I might look at putting something together. But for now, we're just gonna do a few tours um, and I might even sort of run you through on like how I've built certain things and stuff like that to sort of, I guess, help you build your own kind of, you know, similar kind of stuff. Yeah, the, the PA tool was used that much in this build that you know, if I was to do a, a build tutorial for this build, it, it'd be 10 hours long, yeah, literally. So, nobody wants to sit there, sit through a 10 hour video. So, um, yeah, leave some comments in the, uh, leave some comments below and, you know, give me some feedback. Yeah, if you need help with other settlements and stuff like that. For now, I'm just focused on rebuilding the sanctuary um, and rebuilding it the proper way, okay? Like a, like a reborn kind of, uh, settlement so I'll wrap it up there um, I'll leave you guys with a short little look through at night time and I'll catch you guys next time